welcome to another session of business research methods and analytics and uh, in last class we discussed rational thinking and rational thinking for generating research idea and we have discussed individual strength and interest past project work discussion searching the literature scanning the media and now today we are going to discuss creative thinking that is the another technique for research idea so let us see this we already have because discuss um okay we start with right ideas a lot of creative people they come out with the uh, you know some kind of idea they time to time scan the environment find out new opportunities find out new problems and then they come forward and then they you know write those ideas lot of people you might have noticed lot of people they write diary i don't know how many of you note down every day uh, right in the evening or before you go to bed uh, you write some kind of you know stuff you have some book or you have some diary where you note down every day event like me i note down everything because i have to deliver lectures uh, at different different places different different times so whenever i receive a call i tell them that let me see my schedule and whatever events uh, i go through in a particular on a particular day i record all these you know activities so writing a diary <coughs> your experience your learning your ideas so always carry a small pocket diary or one pen so that if something comes in your mind i request you all do note down do write that so whatever research idea comes in your mind must be noted down in a book or diary so that later you can compare it with other ideas and find out the feasibility of conducting research on a particular topic so it's a great habit and i remember professor bhargava who was principal of hindu college and uh, then the director of uh, the uh, institute of archive in calcutta he was delivering one lecture and i was listening to him and he said that he did his phd from england and his professor uh, he 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 told him that uh, see whatever you do every day right whatever you read whatever you do you need to note it down and every day every day you need to learn three different words right meaning of that word concept of that words and the context of that words so he used to do like this he was a very nice person uh, i admire him lot so i request you all uh, i mean not not just for you know keeping track what you did in last month last year but it would be a kind of you know learning it would it will give you some kind of confidence that you forget nothing you always you are always on track and plus it may be that because of your writing uh, it develops a uh, you know reading and writing habits that's very important so i request you all uh, in this approach please do maintain a diary i i don't know how many of you maintain i request you all if you maintain diary and you note down everything every day please say yes in your chat box right it would be a great you know a uh, great experience believe me it would be a kind of great experience for all of you so new three words every day and uh, or whatever interesting or some something which was not so good you need to note down so that you can learn from your uh, experience now second develop preferences as per past topic now in the past uh, whatever has been done how do you know that these things has been done especially in research so for that you need to go through review of literature and students can develop preferences for a particular topic or project on the basis of why the project is so good or why the project appeals and what is excellent and bad about the project so 
that is possible sometime a good good report comes in the newspaper also so you need to go through a newspaper or maybe some good project good report go through the project if it was excellent it was good it would be a great learning for you if something was not so good it was bad about the project that also will enhance your knowledge and will give you some kind of a competitive edge that now you know that what were the reason of that particular project why it was so bad or why it was so good so you know the both perspective now so write a list of plus and minuses about the project and select with which you feel comfortable so here is not always uh, possible to have good things sometimes bad things also come to you so you note down those bad things understand those bad things and try to figure out how to overcome if similar kind of project you get in future that is what that is learning that is learning you need to be a bit creative and creativity begin especially in student life when they start writing just think of writing one page story it would be like oh my god how i can write a one story one page story one page stuff um in our education system it's all about memorization you memorize something and then write your answer um in some country like usa they they say that just forget about this memorization develop your own story you come out with something which you feel that you you saw somewhere you visited particular place you had what you did yesterday write about that one page and this story begin when you are in you know third grade or fourth grade the student of fifth grade sixth grade they have this kind of habit that they write a different kind of story first they you know start writing about their experience what they did yesterday what they are planning for tomorrow and slowly they they have been they they are they asked to you know work on some kind of stories so they start writing stories so i request you all start writing because whatever you speak that's okay but when i when you have been asked to write something it would be a very very difficult task believe me so whenever you write you need to think many times right so this would be you know create creativity begin when you read when you write as a student so here you have some preference you have some interest in a particular topic so see what kind of research has been conducted what kind of reports are there uh, in the past and it may be a you know sometime good experience sometime bad experience sometime good story sometime bad story and then finally uh, you know work on that and start writing just think of indian culture indian stories indian movies what happens at the end at the end when you watch movie many times you will see in general uh, everything is good right everybody is happy that is our culture but in some culture it's not so stories is different they end their story with sorrow with pain right here in indian movies also you might have noticed that if you come out with a story where you know hero is no more or there is a crisis at the end and there is no solution there is no happiness people don't like it so you need to understand culture you need to understand society you need to understand values customs and uh, then see that okay in this culture these kind of practices people have and then follow and then come out with some idea so it will give you a different kind of perspective i remember a story from one country where generally in general like when your dada dadi tell you some story Uh, could you please mute your mic everybody could you please mute your mic everybody thank you so here um 
you need to you know you should have some preferences you should have some interest in your life then comes to relevance tree it is a process that ranges from broad to specific mapping of a research work generally what happens you see that indian economy is booming indian economy is coming down a big perspective broad perspective so am i going to do something uh, to resolve a you know big issue big problem no no at all right so find out a very specific narrow down your objectives narrow down your research idea and see a very very specific work specific reason specific cause and then start work on that this process help in bifurcating system into sub system and sub branches these some branches give a more clear idea by combining different branches into different research idea so you cannot you know i remember i met one lady in 2007 in germany and uh, last week i saw on a facebook i know she got connected with me through facebook after a long time and then um, she say that okay pushpin the send me your email i send her email and then she say that she is also working in one european country and uh, she said that uh, this is her area of interest she has been teaching this like uh, she works in health management so then she said that are you linked with somewhere uh, the concept of health management or this kind of research i was not but i said that i have been into a management and management we can apply in any field whether it's health tourism insurance banking or other sector so we can work together we can collaborate and then she invited me to deliver a lecture because they have an international program international summer school also so uh, now then then i told her that uh, she said that let's talk through facebook i said facebook your time is odd my time is odd different so let us connect each other with whatsapp and yesterday night she sent uh, me her whatsapp whatsapp number now we are connected with the whatsapp so her area of research is totally different my is different but we are trying to figure out that where we can have kind of collaboration there would be a some premise there would be a some you know base where we can work together i uh, so i was thinking about health health industry in india and health industry in the usa european country so if you compare it no comparison at all so what i am going to do from big perspective to small specific uh, reason specific area where we need to collaborate where we need to work then we have very special thing a brainstorming it is a problem solving techniques which defines the problem and ask for suggestions relating to the problem without any criticism so it is a problem solving technique which define the problem so we have a problem sometime what happens you don't understand what is the main cause what is the main problem so just think of visiting a doctor uh, like uh, just think of visiting doctor homeopathy doctor what generally they do they will ask approximately 20 to 30 30 30 to 40 questions homeopathy doctor what they do they say that okay uh, where is the issue what is the main so they want to diagnose the actually the problem and sometime if you don't understand the main cause main problem then you wouldn't be able to solve the problem so it's a problem solving technique which define the problem not only problem they ask for suggestion relating to the problem without any criticism so here what you need to do you need to become a doctor homeopathy doctor where you need to diagnose a problem and understand the main cause of the disease all the solutions are then reviewed and the one which suit the researcher idea may be selected uh, with the help of focus group interview and group discussion so here um you have a team you find out those got a similar kind of interest on a particular field but right and then let's have 
focus group discussion and researcher can discuss a particular problem with the peer members and on the basis of discussion he can select a particular theme or topic for research so here we have a discussion we discuss a particular issue and then we see that how we can conduct a research on this particular issue what kind of problem we have and what kind of solution we can plan together the brainstorm session gives a feasible idea to research on now next is delphi technique in this technique researcher involve those people who are interested in the research idea which will help in further refining the idea these people may have interest or experience into similar or same field of research so this is also a very unique now you might have seen that we have different different communities community is not on the basis of culture or or maybe uh, you know they live on a particular place but social media they have created a kind of community for example i am a member of one community and they promote uh, plantation right greenery so a lot of people are there we all are connected with each other and if you got a idea you post uh, that on uh, group on that community and a uh, lot of people will appreciate it and then they will discuss about it give their own idea i receive one message on that that if you are in a particular institution you are working for a particular institution and if you want some plants uh, our organization is there it's a government institution we provide free of cost plants and other ideas so that make we can make your building a green building right so when you are connected with the particular community particular society as such as per the interest right as per your interest another group i have in research so all those who are in research they are connected with me on that group the third group i, I have been a part of that is entrepreneurship startup so now we have a you know on social media we have society so those got a similar kind of experience interest they will you know work together and will find out the solutions i mean the best solution and they will help you to define the idea also now finally here we have a research ideas impact of the online learning on health of students this is a one issue online learning and face classroom learning assessment techniques of online learning teachers attitude towards online teaching challenges and issue in online learning technological glitches in online learning government and social acceptance of online learning and teaching infrastructural issues in online teaching online teaching in theoretical and practical classes this is one one perspective of online teaching and learning online teaching in rural areas so we have different uh, questions different problem different issues different research ideas uh, towards a particular perspective that is online teaching and learning now comes to research questions so after the ideas you need to develop some questions research questions related with business commerce and management can be designed and answered with the help of statistical research tools and techniques research process with the help of statistical tools convert data into knowledge and that helps in answering different kinds of questions which had been occurred during lockdown due to covid-19 so we, our perspective is basically a current covid-19 situation so we can put light on that there here we have some example of different kind of question had the number of infection cases increase or decrease in the month to come were people feeling better than now due to lockdown what was the rate of mortality infection whether migrants labor decision was wrong or right how to make online teaching learning effective in rural area will infrastructure support the online teaching and learning what kind of technological issues a teacher face during online teaching will there be a positive attitude towards online teaching and learning so from research idea we can develop some research questions so we stop here today and uh,